from my limit that's contacting us. Uh, barely. No, you lied to me. Okay, getting, getting those cards, it, you know, it just would have given you false hope. The dad remembered my birthday every year and he thought about me, that kind of false hope. I did what was best for you, okay? You did what was best for you. You, you always said that dad was a womanizer, you know, a slacker that couldn't hold down a job, that that was why he left. Did you lie about that too? You did. The problem wasn't him, the problem was you. He left you. So what, Mom, did you get back at him by keeping him away from us? You don't know him. <laughs> You're right. Thanks to you. Who knows what else she's hiding from me? What if he, he called or tried to visit and I never even called him back? He's your dad. I mean, nothing should have stopped him, even your mom. Yeah, but what if she lied to him like she lied to me? Who knows? Hey, you know what? Don't let me talk about this anymore. I'm just gonna focus on the wedding. You know what might calm you down? Seating chart. It says here your mom is a plus zero. So is Carl coming or not? I mean, look. Not. She says weddings are a great place to meet men. My own father doesn't even know that I'm getting married. If Lux was getting married and I didn't know, I'd kill myself. I will be sure to send you an invitation. And I've spent 26 years wondering where my father is, and my mother knew that he was in Tahoe. I mean, do you know how close that is in, like, comparison to the rest of the world? It's not too late to have a relationship. I mean, look at us. There are phones in Tahoe. You know what? You're right. But I'm not gonna call him. Before we get married, I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna see my dad. Bent or broken, it's the family tree. 